So you've just installed WordPress on your brand new website. Yay! Congratulations on making the right choice with WordPress. But before you get right into it and start adding content and designing your website, here are nine things you should do right after installing WordPress. Let me walk you through them in this video and make sure you watch till the end because I've got a bonus 10th step for you as well. So if you're ready, let's get started. All right, here we are on our WordPress website. And the first thing we're gonna do is change our site title and some other details as well. So first we're gonna go into appearance on the left-hand side of our WordPress dashboard. And we're gonna go into customize right here. As you can see, we have a default WordPress theme activated here. And currently there's no other content on our page, but we're just gonna go into site identity here on the left-hand side. And right here, we can change the site title and our tagline as well. For this example, let's imagine that our website is for an Italian restaurant called Luigi's. I'm just gonna write site title here, Luigi's Italian restaurant. I'm sorry to any Mario fans out there, but this one's for Luigi. So on the site title, you can go ahead and enter your business name or your brand name. And just below that, we have the tagline. So we can enter the tagline for our website. For example, we can write something like that. And whatever you save here as your site title and tagline will also show up on the top of your tab as well. So for now, I'm just gonna go press publish. And there we go, we can see right here, if we hover over our tab, Luigi's Italian restaurant, fine Italian cuisine, just like that. All right, now that we have our site title and tagline, the next thing we can do is add our logo. Right here, we have select logo, so we can click on that and we can proceed to upload the logo file that we have. So let me just grab it right now. And what I can do is drag my logo straight onto here like this. And there it is right there, my logo. I'm gonna press select and we can skip cropping as well. And there we go, our logo has now been uploaded. And here we also have an option that indicates that we're uploading a logo for high resolution screens or retina logo. And if you uploaded one like that, we can go and press this check mark right here. I'm just gonna leave it as is for now. And just below here, we can upload our site icon. And this is the icon that we see at the top of our tab just here. You can see that globe icon we see right there, and we can replace that with one of our own. So I'm just gonna go select site icon here. And once again, I'm gonna drag my site icon image and upload that here. And there's that one there just for our new restaurant website. And I'm gonna press select here. And then I'm gonna skip cropping once again. And as you can see up there, we've got our new fab icon right there. And now I'm gonna go and press publish. And there we go, it's all published and ready to go. And for the next thing you should do, let's go back into our WordPress dashboard. And here we are within our WordPress dashboard. And the next thing you should do involves adjusting some general settings on our website. And to do that, let's go into settings right here and press general. Inside general, we also have the same options right here to adjust our site title and tagline. And we also have some options here that I want you to check out. For example, administration email address. Make sure this email address here is the one you want associated with your website. And down here, you can also set the site language. Currently it's set to English, United States. But you can select any one of these languages right here in this dropdown. And below that, you can also set the time zone for your website as well. I recommend you should set your time zone to the one that matches your business's local time zone. You can drop this down and select any one of these here that matches your time zone. And once you're done, make sure you scroll down here and press save changes. Awesome, so the next thing you should do after installing WordPress is to set up your permalinks. To do that, we can go into settings right here again on the WordPress dashboard. And right here, you can already see permalinks. So we're gonna click on that. So basically permalinks are talking about your URL structure. And basically you want your URL structure to be easy to understand for anyone that visits your website, as well as for search engines. So right here, things like these, P equals one, two, three, these aren't that easy to understand just by looking at it. But on the other hand, if you have your post title in the URL itself, it's much easier to understand what that URL is for. So you can select one of these options here, but the last one here, custom structure, allows you to create a custom URL structure right here. You can do it very easily by clicking on any of these tags right here to add them onto that URL. So right here, you have your year, the day, and the post name as well. So if you wanna remove those, you can just click on them like these and create your own custom structure. For example, you want the month, you can have the category, and then you can have the post name and author as well if you'd like to. It's really easy to set up, and once you're happy with that, you can go and press Save Changes right here. And while we're still inside the settings, the next thing you should do is go into Discussion right here, I'll be showing you how you can disable comments. So we click on discussion and that shows you a bunch of different settings related to comments on your website. And if you wanna disable comments on your website, you have to go and uncheck this option right here, allow people to submit comments on new posts. So if we uncheck that, all the posts you publish from now won't have an option to post any comments. For example, we have this one here, the person who fills in the comment must also fill out their name and email address. You can also enable this here so that users have to be registered and logged in to leave a comment. And you have some more in-depth comment settings here as well. And down here, you have options to get notified when anyone posts a comment or when a comment is being held for moderation. And after that, we also have the option to manually approve a comment. So if you check this, all comments must be manually approved before they're published live on your website. 
And you also and you also have an option here. Comment author must have a previously approved comment. This means that if someone has already posted a comment and had it approved, they can continue commenting on your posts. And down here we have comment moderation. So when a comment contains any of these words, content, author, name, URL, email, anything like that, that comment will be held for moderation. And just below that, we also have disallowed comment keys. So down here, when a comment includes anything you specified in this box, that comment will be put into the trash. And once you're happy with all your comment settings, make sure you scroll down here and press save changes. And now what we can do is go ahead and install our WordPress theme. So what we can do is go into appearance right here and go into themes. Choosing a WordPress theme is a very important part of building your WordPress website. The theme you choose can directly affect the performance of your website, as well as all the additional features that you might get with it. Before I show you which theme I recommend, let's go into add new up here. And over here, we can see a bunch of different themes that we can add onto WordPress website. But the one I recommend is called Astra, this one here. Astra is a very lightweight and powerful theme, comes with a lot of different features and performance benefits as well. I'm going to press install here, to install the Astra theme. And we're also going to press activate here as well. There we go. Our theme is now activated and good to go. All right, on to the next thing we have to do after installing WordPress is we're going to remove all the existing plugins, posts, and pages that we might not need for our WordPress website. So first, while we're on the theme section, we can remove the theme that we're no longer using. This one was installed by default, and we no longer need that because we have the Astra theme. So we can click on this here, and right on the bottom right, we have delete. So I'm going to press delete here, and we're also going to press OK. There we go. The only theme installed on our website now is the one that's activated, which is the Astra theme. Now we're going to do the same thing with posts. So we're going to go to posts on the left hand side. As you can see right here, we have our default post right here. We can hover over it and press trash right here. And if you want to empty it from the trash as well, we can go into trash here and we can hover over the post once again and press delete permanently. There we go. That post has now been deleted and there are no longer any blog posts existing on our new website. And if you want to, you can go into pages as well and remove any pages that you don't need right here. You can do the same thing by hovering over it, pressing trash and deleting it permanently if you wish to as well. And lastly, let's go into plugins here as well, and we can remove any additional plugins that we don't need. Currently, this website I've got here came with these four plugins installed. If you want to uninstall any individual plugins, all you have to do is deactivate it like this. And once deactivated, we can delete it as well, just like that. Alternatively, if you want to delete multiple plugins in a row, you can select them like this, or you can select all of them by clicking that checkbox at the top. And we can go into bulk actions. We can press deactivate and apply. In the same way, we're going to do it again, and we're also going to delete these as well. And there we go. All the plugins that came installed with my website have now been deleted. Same with the posts and the themes as well. And for the next step on our WordPress website, we're going to install some plugins that will help with various things like security, backups, SEO, anti-spam, emails, and caching. You can install all these plugins by going to plugins on the WordPress dashboard and pressing add new. All the plugins I mentioned now, you can search for up in the search bar right here. The first one you can install is called WordPress. So I can search for it here, WordPress, and this is our security plugin. And the one we want is this one here. We can go and press install now and activate the plugin as well. What WordFence will do for you is it will block intrusion attempts and malicious activity on your website, keeping it safe and secure. All right, so now we can go and add the next plugin on our list, and that's called Updraft Plus. It's this one right here, Updraft Plus WordPress Backup Plugin. It's an amazing backup plugin for WordPress websites. And I'm going to go ahead and install it now. You can schedule your backups and even have your backups stored on a cloud storage solution like Google Drive. And if you want to check out an in-depth tutorial on how you can back up your WordPress website using Updraft Plus, we've got a tutorial on our YouTube channel. I'll make sure to leave a link in the description below if you're interested in checking it out. And the next plugin we're going to install is called Yoast SEO. And you guessed it, it's for our SEO or search engine optimization. So we can install that as well. And Yoast is one of the best SEO plugins available for WordPress. And if you want to learn how to use it to its full potential, we have a full tutorial on Yoast SEO on our YouTube channel. I'll make sure to leave a link for that as well in the description below. And for our next plugin, you might have already had this installed when you first set up WordPress. If you did, you won't have to install it again. And this one's called Akismet. Akismet is an anti-spam plugin, and it will prevent spam on a WordPress website by filtering them from places like comments and contact forms. It's a must have on any WordPress website. And the next plugin is for caching. And this one's called W3 Total Cache. It's this one right here, W3 Total Cache. We can install that one as well and activate the plugin. Caching plugins are really important to have on your website because they can allow for faster load times and ultimately allow for better user experiences on your website as well. And the last plugin we want to install is this one right here, Fluent SMTP. This one will make sure that emails sent out from your website don't end up in the recipient's spam folder. Let's go ahead and install that as well. If you want a full tutorial on how to set up Fluent SMTP, we've got a full tutorial as well. I'll make sure to leave it in the description below. And there we go. All the plugins I've recommended have all been installed now and you're good to go. All right, moving on to the next step, we're going to go ahead and change the image right here on the top right corner. 
And we can't actually do that on our WordPress website itself. We have to do that on a third party website. And here we are on that website. It's called Gravatar. I'll make sure to leave a link to it in the description below. And what we're going to do now is go and sign in or sign up if you haven't before. And make sure to use the same email address that you're using on your WordPress website. And once you've logged in, you can go and press add an image. We can go and press upload new and we can go ahead and browse for our file here. I'm going to choose this one right here, which is the same image I've currently got. And once that's uploaded, we can press next. And there we go. It's a little bit pixelated because it's a small resolution image, but that's fine. Your image will show up right here just like this. And we can press crop image down below. And right here, you have to choose the rating for your Gravatar. If you're using an image of yourself just like this one, you can select this first one here. The Gravatar is suitable for display on all websites with any audience type. If your image suits any of the other different ratings down here, you can select those as well. But this one should be most use cases right here. So I'm going to set that rating now. There we go. And our Gravatar is all good to go. And if your old image is still showing on your Gravatar account here, don't worry. It will just take a little bit of time to update. All right, now we can close Gravatar and go back onto our WordPress website. And back on our WordPress website, on the top right corner, in a little bit of time, you should be able to see the new image you uploaded onto Gravatar right here for your profile. And those are all the things I recommend you should do after installing WordPress. And now you're free to go ahead and build your WordPress website and make it look exactly how you want to. But to do that, I've got a bonus step for you. So we're going to go into plugins here. And I'm going to show you a plugin that will help you install beautiful and professionally designed website templates in only a matter of minutes. So the one we're going to look for is called Starter Templates. And it's this one right here. I'm going to go ahead and install that now. And once it's installed, I'm also going to activate it. And now that Starter Templates has been installed, we can go into Appearance on the left hand side and click on Starter Templates and click on Starter Templates. And here we are within Starter Templates. First thing we're going to do is press this button here, Build Your Website Now. And here you can select one of three different page builders you can build your website with. For this tutorial, let's go ahead with Block Editor. We can also choose Elementor or Beaver Builder if you'd like to. So if I click on Block Editor, it shows me a library of amazing different templates that you can choose to build your website with. We have many different options to choose from, so you can go ahead and select any you'd like to. For example, for a website for Luigi's Restaurant, we can go with this barbecue restaurant template we've got here. So if I click on that, it shows me a preview of what the website will look like right here. As you can see, it's professionally designed, it's very responsive, and it looks great as well. So over here, you can upload your logo if you want to. I'm going to skip that. And you can also choose from different color schemes to really customize your website and make it your own. Same with the fonts down here as well. I'm just going to press continue down here and I'm going to start loading up that template. And there we go. Our template has now been loaded up. Let's go and see what it looks like on the front end of our website. And there we go. Our template has now been loaded up. You saw what our website looked like before, but after installing the starter template, it looks fantastic. We got everything we saw on that demo and it's all fully functional. It's very responsive and all the content right here, you can customize to make it your own. So it's a really good starting point to build your website with. And as you saw, we had a bunch of different templates you can choose from. So if you want to check it out, I'll make sure to leave a link for it in the description below. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like down below. And if you want more WordPress content like this, click on our logo right here and subscribe. Don't forget to turn on your notifications. And if you want to watch a full tutorial on how to build a WordPress website, you can click on this video right here. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.